He just doesn't get it because he is a climate change denier. Del Duca today went after Ford after the PC leader over the weekend called Saturday's storm a once in a lifetime weather event. When I was in Clarence Rockland yesterday, what the mayor said to me was, this is the third, if I'm not mistaken, the third natural disaster in five years. You know, Doug Ford likes to talk about these things like they're the once in a lifetime storms. You know what that tells me? That tells me that Doug Ford is in essence a climate change denier. I believe in climate change, let's, let's make that clear, and we're doing everything to uh, prevent it. But is he? Ford was in vote-rich Brampton today at the Alstom factory, where they're currently making LRT vehicles. It's true, Ford is building public transit, but one of his major campaign promises is to build a new highway, 413. Ford today appeared to say that building highways helps fight climate change. One of the worst examples uh, of pollution, go stand on the bridge of the 401 and watch bumper to bumper traffic. That's why we're building roads and bridges and, and highways to get people home quicker, that uh, you know they, they don't have to sit in gridlock and smell someone else's fumes. Well, if Mr. Ford believes in climate change, then why is he systematically dismantling uh, all the climate action plans in Ontario and he's failing to make the investments to ensure that our communities are climate ready. Both Mike Schreiner and Andrea Horvath are still campaigning virtually as they recover from COVID-19. The NDP leader tells me she's feeling better and will be back out on the hustings tomorrow. Yeah, I am, as a matter of fact, Richard, uh, and I'm happy about that, testing negative. But this morning I had a little bit of, um, just a little bit of a sniffly nose, and so I thought out of a, an abundance of caution, uh, we would do uh, one more virtual day. While she is feeling better, her poll numbers are not. All the polls are in agreement in that they're saying it's now a race for second place between the NDP and the Liberals. I'm going to uh, wait until the people of this province have cast their ballots. We're just going to keep working hard until June 2nd, and we'll see what the people say. We're going to work extremely hard, hard but I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I was door knocking in, in Vaughan, and I have bad news for Mr. Del Duca. He's losing that riding, as sure as I'm talking to you today. This is City News Everywhere.